If you want to build the best PC around the new NVIDIA RTX 5070, then you came to the right place. I'll show you specific PC build recommendations around the RTX 5070 that will fit your budget and needs. I will go through different price points and tell you what type of performance you can expect with each system. And by the way, the links to all of these PCs will be down below in the video description with the latest prices and availability in your region. My name is Valentino, that being said, let's start. First, I'll start by talking about the cheapest PC build that I will get for the RTX 5070. This system has a Ryzen 5 7500F, which is one of the best value CPUs in the entire market, going for around 130 bucks. Now, this CPU will be perfect to be paired with the RTX 5070. It will not bottleneck it, and on top of that, it will give you high FPS in high CPU demanding games. So if you want to play esports shooters like Valorant at 1080p or a game like CS2 or Fortnite, you can expect well over 360 plus FPS on average or 240 plus FPS at 1440p in competitive settings. So feel free to go with a 240Hz 1440p monitor if you desire to or a 1080p 360Hz one. Inside of this system you also get an aftermarket CPU cooler that has RGB and is going to be perfectly fine for this Ryzen 5 processor and talking about cooling and design you get a great cooler master case with plenty of airflow and some beautiful RGB pre-installed fans. Now inside of this system you also get 32 gigs of DDR5 memory so expect a very good level of streaming performance and content creation as well. So this PC is not about just gaming. Speaking about gaming though with the 5070 you can expect very similar performance compared to the RTX 4070 Super slightly faster. That being said you can expect well over 100 FPS on average at 1440p high to ultra settings in high demanding titles without DLSS. This is a very strong level of gaming performance and if you are able to get the RTX 5070 in stock at MSRP, meaning that you buy for 550 bucks, it might actually be a very decent price to performance graphics card, especially considering that right now almost every GPU is out of stock. Keep in mind that you can find the latest pricing and availability for the new RTX 5070 from the links down in the video description. Now with this graphics card you can also play some games at 4K depending on the game and depending on the setting, but I would strongly recommend you turning on DLSS if you want to play at 4K high to ultra settings in high demanding titles. Now this system has a well branded power supply because you actually need a good power supply for this RTX 5070 and the total price for this system will be under 1100 USD which is the cheapest PC that I would build around this new Nvidia graphics card. Now if you have more money to spend I recommend you getting the next one on the list which is the best value RTX 5070 system. This is the gaming PC that I recommend for most people because it will be amazing in terms of price to performance. Here you get a Ryzen 7 7700X processor which is an 8 core CPU that's going to be amazing especially if you play high CPU demanding games or if you want to do something like content creation and productivity work where those extra cores will help you out. Here you get a bigger aftermarket CPU cooler to cool down this Ryzen 7 processor and you get 2 terabytes of SSD so you get plenty of storage. Overall this system is amazing in terms of value and for gaming since you get the 5070 you can expect the same amount of gaming performance in high GPU demanding titles. That being said, you can expect over 100 FPS in high demanding games at 1440p as I said before. Although if you play high CPU demanding games like Fortnite for example and you want to play at the lowest settings with this PC, you will be achieving higher frame rates than the last one or if you play other CPU demanding titles like Howard's Legacy for example or if you want to play a game like Fly Simulator. The price for this system is under 1300 USD and that's why in my opinion is the best price to performance one because it's not the most expensive system out there but it's also not the cheapest one and it will provide a very strong level of performance for both gaming and content creation. Now if you have even more money to spend and you want the RTX 5070 I recommend you getting the fastest RTX 5070 PC build for gaming. The reason why this one is the fastest is because you get one of the best CPUs in the entire market for gaming in the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D. Yes there's one CPU that's actually slightly faster in the 9800X 3D but at the moment the 7800X 800 x 3D is going for 400 USD which is the cheapest I've seen in a long time now and the 9800 x 3D is quite more expensive so I do recommend you getting the CPU if you want one of the fastest PCs that you can get in the entire market. If you play high CPU demanding titles like the ones I've mentioned before you will be achieving very very high FPS with the 7800 x 3D or if you want to play with DLSS 
process enabled, which is a high CPU technology. So having the 7800X3D definitely will give you some advantages when it comes to gaming. For the rest of the components, you get a more premium quality motherboard with Wi-Fi included and a more premium quality case in the King 65 Pro from Montec. This is one of my favorite cases in the entire market in terms of value. Now, the total price for this system is around 1500 USD, which is definitely not cheap. But again, if you want the fastest PC that you can get for gaming with the 5070, I do believe that this one will be the right one for you. But don't get me wrong, in high GPU demanding games, if you want to play games like Cyberpunk 2077, for example, high to ultra settings, you will not notice a big difference because those games require a ton from your GPU. But again, even in some high demanding games like Howard's Legacy, the CPU might play a big role depending on the area of the map. And last but not least, as a bonus PC, I will show you the best content creation and productivity work PC around the RTX 5070. This one has a Ryzen 9 9900X, which is a 12 core processor and it's one of the best CPUs in the entire market when it comes to content creation and productivity work and it's also very fast for gaming. So of course, if you want to do gaming as well, this CPU will be ideal regardless. You get a 360 all-in-one liquid cooler with a very premium motherboard with a very strong audio codec which is going to be ideal if you are a content creator and then you get 64 gigs of ram which for gaming it doesn't make any difference because 32 gigs of ram is going to be more than enough and it's not going to give you higher fps but for content creation having 64 gigs of ram might be ideal especially if you're working with some heavy videos the total price for this system is 1630 bucks which is the most expensive system in this list with the rtx 5070 and i would only recommend you buying it if you are a professional content creator looking for a really good quality system but again for most people i recommend the best value 5070 pc that i mentioned today that's going for around 1300 usd remember you will have all the latest pricing and availability from the links down in the video description where you can also find my personal pc help with the top link in the description in case you in case you want me to help you out find the right system whether it's a pre-built pc or a pc build thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one